Yeah, I bought that mushroom and it was about a the size of a half a dollar That's at nice. the actual store. It was like the size of a half dollar. And the lady at the corporate said, hey, this thing's going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So I was like, okay, whatever. Throw it right there. And I mean, within putting it right there and two, three months down the line, this thing just starts drooping down. And when it's at the full peak intensity about noon, it literally touches the bottom. It's nice. That I like that just, purple. I don't know how good my camera's picking it up, but it is nice and purple and that green. That thing is looking sweet. I mean, for the most part, it's, it's not a matter of intensity or flow right now. It's a matter of placement. Like every core has been placed and if it failed in that first place and it got moved around again, another coral got put in the spot and blase blase. So whenever I get a coral, I have to put it in there by zones. I know right here is probably the hottest area. It's just the most full because they both intersect. And this pump is half a second off from that pump. So, I mean, it's just pushing it and pushing back. It just keeps going back and forth, back and forth. That's why that flower pop keeps jerking like that nice and I used to listen to people when they said well LPS well for the size of my tank it should be 8,500 gallons per hour and blase 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 but LPS really you can't really get 8,500 gallons per hour going in this tank you know like you have to you have to post it or make it stop and mm -hmm. go again. You can't just do a continuous 8,500. So that pump is 3,400. That pump is 5,300. That's about, what, 85, 85, 34, 53, 8,700. So 8,700. But the 8,700 is knocked down by about three seconds because it stops, go, stops, go. So at any given time, it's maybe 4,000 gallons per hour going at any given time with the max of 8,500 if they both intersect at the same time. And most people do that laminar flow. I've seen people angle their pumps in a mm -hmm. certain way and they say, oh, well, the flow is this, that, and that. Yeah, I bought that mushroom and it was about a the size of a half a dollar That's at nice. the actual store. It was like the size of a half dollar. And the lady at the corner said, hey, this thing's going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So I was like, okay, whatever. Throw it right there. And I mean, within putting it right there and two, three months down the line, this thing just starts drooping down. And when it's at the full peak intensity about noon, it literally touches the bottom it's nice that I like that just, purple I don't know how good my camera's picking it up but it is nice and purple and that green that thing's looking sweet I mean for the most part it's, it's not a matter of intensity or flow right now it's a matter of placement like every core has been placed and if it failed in that first place and it got moved around again another core got put in the spot and blase blase so whenever I get a coral I have to put it in there by zones I know right here is probably the hottest area it's just the most flow because they both intersect and this pump is half a second off from that pump so I mean it's just pushing it and pushing back it just keeps going back and forth, back and forth. That's why that flower pop keeps jerking like that. Nice. And I used to listen to people when they said, well, LPS, well, for the size of my tank, it should be 8,500 gallons per hour and blase, blase, blase. But LPS really, you can't really get 8,500 gallons per hour going in this tank you know like 
you have to you have to post it or make it stop and mm -hmm. go again. You can't just do a continuous 8500. So that pump is 3400. That pump is 5300. That's about what? 85, 85, 34, 53, 8700. So 8700. But the 8700 is knocked down by about three seconds because it stops, go, stops, go. So at any given time, it's maybe 4,000 gallons per hour going at any given time with the max of 8,500 if they both intersect at the same time. And most people do that laminar flow. I've seen people angle their pumps in a mm -hmm. certain way and they say, oh, well, the flow is this, that, and the other. But they mainly have, you know, SPS, which mine is LPS dominated, softly dominated. I have to really pay attention to the way I do my flow. Because, I mean, I, I set that guy on um, setting one, and, I mean, things were just blowing. <laughs> yeah, wave one. Yeah. I keep mine on wave one right now at home. Well, it's on wave one. I'm talking about the actual setting one. Oh, okay. Right now, it's on setting three. Now, I got my controllers one right there, and one's at the very top. And I put this black sheet so I can get into the tank, uh -huh. but not have to... Put like a board or something right there. I just didn't want that light to keep flooding the room. What brand is that camera? Because I don't know if you've seen. Well, I watch a lot of YouTube and one dude, oh, too many fish. He has like, I don't if you haven't checked him out, dude has like an outdoor frag tank and all he's using is the sun. But he has like a camera where you can pan tilt and zoom. Believe it or not, it's a car backup camera. Really? Yeah. What the? <laughs> They're waterproof. Really? Yeah, I put a little bit of extra silicone on it uh -huh. just to make sure it's super waterproof, but yeah, they're waterproof. I had about five of them sitting in the garage, so I was like, eh, I wonder. <laughs> I threw it in a bucket of water, plugged it to power, told my wife, hey, come downstairs just in case I Get you know, kill myself. Yeah. You can go to the hospital or whatever. Plugged it in, and we just sat there and played with it, just swirled the camera in the water. And it just, we left it going for 24 hours, and it was fine. I threw it in tank. Okay, so that's why they have that red, green, yellow. Yeah, it's a backup <laughs> camera. Okay. But now when the GoPro gets in there, it's going to be full HD all the time. Yeah, for sure. You should start a channel. Start talking fish. Yeah, I play with a lot of lights. Right now, I'm just running uh, black boxes and AI Primes. Yeah, I like AI Prime. It's okay. Um, even for my little 24 gallon tank, I need another light, but I'm thinking about <clears throat> the refrigerator has a new light called some nano box or called coral box. Uh, see if I can get one. Of I seen that you got that re-photon, the, yeah. mm -hmm. the, the 50 inch. inch. What they, intensity do you run them at? I am right now at the peak, uh, 60%. I know I said I wasn't going to go higher than that, but I'm at, I'm at 60 and then I added a the two T5s. I don't know. I just like the T5 period. I got four of them up there. Oh, you do? Yeah. I got the the purples and then I got the whites on the outer edge. Oh, hell yeah. And on my Jerry. Where's right? your primes at? They're low. You have to get up to really see them. So you're running at 10x and our model view. Mm -hmm. That's sweet, dude. And all of them are tapped in my apex. So they ramp up and ramp down. Yeah, I need to get an apex, but I just keep wasting my money on corals. I'll, honestly, I would start with, a, with an apex junior. I mean, my display went out my apex and I, I really don't even care. Because everything I do is online. So you get this white wire that runs to the network cable and I just sit online and just ramp them up and ramp them down and play a little. It's cool man, I have some of these and these actually grow pretty fast. The yellow and... The yellow reds and uh, greens? Yeah. Yeah. The, the that bags. started with one polyp on it. Holy crap. 
I was just doing good. And these Zinnia, I really haven't seen these Zinnias online. And I like really, really wanted them. So I found a guy, he had, I think he had like four or five of them on it. They're just really big Zinnias. They're really big and really fuzzy. And I just wanted them to just cover. I think those are a pipe organ next to the Xenia, right? Those are pretty Yeah. Sweet. I got one right there and I got a bigger colony down there. Oh, okay. I have one, but I broke them into two. Okay, and I see you got some palaces going on over here. Yeah, I'm not too good with the chalices. I'm trying. But in my little 24 gallon, they're, they're starting, to, starting to come back. These pipe organ, I thought they were gonna piss me off earlier because they would they would just sprout in the head. Early this morning I was like, oh I gotta, you know, somebody come and look at the tank. <laughs> Fuck, what are you doing? <laughs> come on, man. Dude. So I did that. Didn't touch them, came back, and they were all out. Nice. That's really nice. That's really cool. It went big. That's cool. I mean, it's hard work, but it's not yeah. like it's not like unbearable work, like people say it is. Yeah, cool, dude. Those little, you know, when you frag, those are cool. For which one? Those ones that are with the little white centers or whatever, they're purplish. I have to break you off the top piece. Let's see. It's already hanging anyway. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. They're getting ready to drop. I mean. Things, oh yeah, yeah. They multiply. This Mystic, the orange. Honestly, I don't. I think it that. looks like Mystic, but except the Mystic usually has like the little blue. If you don't, it's it's not Mystic. I have some at Dallas. This thing was brown when I got it. I bought that from the Art for ten bucks, and it was brown. So you've been all over. You've been shopping all over, West Side, Northeast. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta know. Like, Las Cruces. Las Cruces. Just check people out. Hey, you know, what do you got? And I'll go for the most dying coal. Uh -huh. Get like the, yeah. the lowest price possible ever known to man. And I'll throw it in the tank and it'll just, hey, I'm a woke. Thanks. Yeah, in one of my videos, I was telling people, you know, I'm looking out for all these deals online, but the best place is from other reefers. Oh, I could find some deals online. I got a, what was it, a Jedi Mind Trick that I'm getting ready to pick up. I got Jedi Mind Trick, man. Oh, a big ass piece? Big ass piece. I, I'm, I'm like going to hook you up, bucks. man. I'm going to hook you up for free. Oh, nice. I got Jedi Mind Trick up the butt. Oh, you know, frags break my fish seem to swim by and break it and then I just pick it up and throw it on my little egg crate there's this dude locally that I uh, traded and I picked up a bunch of like zoas and stuff like that sweet I'll go ahead and end this here so thanks for having us over so, I think that, that's a beautiful fish. This one's nice. Yeah, I'm trying to keep him in his prime until he turns gray. Which What's one? This dude? No, the orange shoulder tang. Are you going to get any more um, tangs, you think? Uh, maybe. I like I just, the purples, but... I just don't know what I really want other than a Soho tang. I love the little powder browns. Those are nice. Yeah, I never had any luck with powder browns. They always get it. <laughs> powder blues are really nice, but same situation, it. So I'll go for more of the, I like the surgeon fish type of look. I like the way their head is. Really nice fish. Yeah, I'm waiting for him to turn full blue. At night, he's full blue. Wow. No rest? Uh, one or two in here. If you can find them. <laughs> Let's 
somewhere in here. The sand. They, they are everywhere. I mean, there's literally 30, 40 damsels in here. But they're all like honey damsels or electric blues. This fish that you got in the background, those little tiny ones are sweet. You said what? Those little fish right here you have in the background are pretty nice. Oh, the honey damsels? They're nice, man. Five bucks. And I hate damsels, but those are... Five bucks a piece at Coke. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I've been tempted to buy some fish from Pickle, but... You gotta quarantine them. Uh, yeah, exactly. I literally set up another tank for quarantine. A 10-gallon, or...? Yeah, I have a tank under this. Okay. It's nice. Along with all the filtration. So... What kind of skimmer are you using for this? Uh, MPC. MPC? What is that? It's a brand. Oh. They just have really, can I show you? Uh, really, really big skimmers. There. You need me to move this? Yeah. They're commercial skimmers, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, you might want to still go back a little oh, bit okay. more. It comes out to about this line. All right. Is that a sea chip pump? No, it's a Javeo. Oh, really? Yeah, the 15,000. This first one, I turn it off it's in case of uh, emergencies, then I'll run down one. Okay. But the second one in the back, the one that's running that's the is Javeo with the controller. See my Calipor, my Chado. Uh, my skimmer. Uh, East. Oh, yeah, she skims very, very, very well. To the point where it's over skimming. <laughs> so what do you what what size pipes are these? One in? Or no, what, two inch? Oh uh, one and a half. So I was laughing because I have little tiny one inch pipes with three quarter. Uh, yeah. I mean you can cheat the same. Yeah. Thing, no matter what the pipe, I mean, it's all gonna come down, straight down. But in the case of something happening, I didn't want to go to two inch because it'll come down too fast. It will gradually and your, come down. Your tank is silent, pretty silent. Doing the mangroves. Did you pick the mangroves up locally or? I actually you? ordered them. I got like 27 of them. I just kept giving them away. They kept growing. Not 27, I think I gave 10, 15 away when I first got them. Uh -huh. I think I kept five and they just kept growing. Sweet. Just trying to get my calipore growing real good so it covers that whole area. I started with like a handful of it. I mean, for the most part, it's growing. What size? Cause this is another. What is this? A 125 under me? Yeah, it's a 125. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? A like, huge tank. This is my display. Right here has your refugium. Nice. Picked up from glass, silicone. It. It's miracle mud under the sand. It's probably exhausted by now, but really don't want to change it out. So. I want to give it a try because of Kevin, you know, but... I mean, it, it grows, don't get me wrong, because I mean, the California is just a little ball up here. And you can see it starting to root in at the bottom. It's literally going to where the mud level is. Just root itself down. So, I mean, I'm satisfied. Yeah, looks good. I got it for like 30 bucks, so I was like, eh, whatever, I'll try it. Hey man, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thanks for showing us your tank. Nice. And I'll just chomp it up in my hand. Make it real, real small. Not that much. Oh man, your fish are going crazy. I'll just throw it in.
there's no better value for the money than that. And it's lasting about two months. That's eight bucks. I almost bought the pound for, is it like 24 bucks? A whole pound of it. And I could feed both tanks and be good. Still have plenty of food. I mean, I keep frozen. Uh huh. But for the most part, this is a That's what you have to main diet. Come home for lunch, feed them. Feed them before I go to PT. Feed them before I go to bed. And they poop a lot. So when they poop a lot, feed your corals. Feed yeah. my coral. All your fish came out it's a ton. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's that many fish in there, but uh, yeah, you, a good, you got a good uh, bio load right there. Of fish. Good Fifty fish. Nice. So what size is it? Uh, three, four hundred. Yeah. And it's and it's quiet. <clears throat> Yeah, because I mean, I watch TV a lot on my projector, so I would want it to be quiet, so I try to dampen everything down. That's nice. Because at first this door wasn't there, but I put that door there and it just shut everybody out. Yeah. <clears throat>